Welcome back to the channel and finally back to another new episode of 5 Things You Might Not Know. This, as always, is the 101. This one is episode number 46, but as always, if you have missed any of the previous episodes, check them out on the series playlist link on the screen. And here we go again on this time episode 46 of 5 Things You Might Not Know About WWE 2K17. So let's kick this one off with a series regular with some lesser known breakout attacks. Now already in the series we have covered a bunch of these, but here we go once again with potentially the final three that we're going to be covering. We have got this one that takes place against Neville from this position when he's using his alternative entrance. There is this simple but effective one against Triple H. And there is this one, this time against Tyler Breeze, of which yes, we have seen this animation cover previously when covering the taunts, but this time confirmation that this pretty cool moment also works during the entrance. Again, this is likely the final three that we're going to be covering, but if there is any that you know that we haven't covered in the series yet, then be sure to let me know. Next up, we are going backstage and covering a thing involving trash cans. Now, it's probably fair to say that given the majority of the roster uses it, your superstar can do a weapon grapple that generally results in putting the trash can on your opponent and then punching it. However, what you might not know is that this is not the case for all superstars, as different weight classes actually have different strikes. So as we know, for regular sized superstars, they indeed do the punch. But in terms of super heavyweights, they tend to use the big boot. Whereas cruiserweights tend to use a drop kick. It's also worth pointing out that generally a super heavyweight superstar can't have a trash can put on their head with instead the grapple being replaced with a regular strike. Moving on, and we're now talking creating arena, and more specifically the LED boards. Now as we know, the newer arenas in the game all tend to feature LED boards, of which modes can actually be selected and used within this year's creating arena mode. However, a thing that you might not know is that there is also an official unused LED board for the Elimination Chamber. So again, this LED board is not used by default, but it is indeed in the game. So for anyone creating a Elimination Chamber arena, this might be a pretty handy thing to know. With thing number 4, we are taking a look back at announced table finishers that don't actually break the table, and a thing that occurs on the table when this happens, a lot you might not have noticed. So as we cover way back, certain moves for example, the DLC DDT and the DLC Brainbuster don't actually break the table as intended. However, what you might not know is that following this, if you look closely when your superstar goes to get off the table, there is actually a button prompt for an animation to do this. Now, given that your superstar is not actually meant to be on the table, it's a little strange to see that the prompt is there, but the animation is in place and works for both both face and forwards, as well as backwards when getting off the table. But last up, more of a fun one, as we're again showcasing a small trick that can create some interesting diving moments. So as we covered a few episodes back, you can actually do simultaneous dives off the second rope as well as the top rope off the same turnbuckle. Today, taking this one step further, we're now covering how these are done with this time both superstars both being on the top rope. 
So very similar to last time, take one superstar of a diamond finisher and charge it when on the top rope. Once that's being done, take the second superstar and also climb the turnbuckle. As you can see, this then results in both superstars being on the top rope together, which then leaves options for either a double diver move to the grounded opponent, or alternatively to a standing opponent. As this one obviously isn't intended, it does have some mixed results, but all in all a fun one, so definitely give this one a go. And with that, another episode done and dusted, which now takes the series total to 230. So let me know in the comments if any of today's feature five things were new for you. Plus, as always, if you've enjoyed today's episode, which hopefully you have, then a like rating would be awesome to see. Stay tuned for another episode of the series coming very, very soon. And with that said, until next time, this has been 101. And I will see you all on the next one.